Hello and welcome to Norland, a game I've not really seen much about to be honest, but the, the publishers reached out and asked if I'd like to, like to take a look at a preview build. Obviously as you can see it's a demo, I think there was a, a public demo out a little while back, probably in the Steam Next Fest, uh, but this is a uh, more advanced build and that's got a few extra things that, uh, that have been added to the, the build since then, so it'll be interesting to see. I had a bit of a look at the game, I had a look at a couple of, sort of, sort of the trailers and stuff and it seems like it could be really interesting, something that could be right up my alley, so let's Let's give it a go. So it is a demo. The game isn't out until May. So it's a couple of months. What are we? March, April, May. Yeah, two months. I was right. A couple of months. Had to count my fingers because that's how terrible I am apparently. Um, so there's lots of work to be done on it, Shoreham, still. So if we see any bugs or anything that maybe doesn't look quite right, we're not going to judge it too much for that. As you can see, it's only version 0.3559.4546.0. Uh, it includes a full game experience, but it's limited to 25 in-game days. Many things are still in progress, as we just mentioned. So, a little bit of note on the aspects there. Do we want a tutorial? Possibly. We'll try a new game. Oh, it, does, it says we highly recommend going through a tutorial. All right, fine. If, it, if, if they highly recommend it, who am I to say no, right? What do I know? And it seems like the sort of game where a tutorial will probably be very useful if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest. Welcome to the Norland. You are the king and the head of the noble family. Your lords obey your commands, but they also have their own will. However, only through their skill in combat, intrigue and economic management, you can become the founder of a great dynasty. Create the most powerful kingdom in the world, or together with good allies, survive the approaching crisis. There's an approaching crisis already. Okay, things are looking bad. Your history is just beginning. So. Uh, Wasid, yeah, cool. Mouse wheel, zoom, yeah, cool. Enough of that. Speed up time, one, two, three. In Norland, you only control a noble family, so you need to assign a manager to oversee the workers in the buildings. The instructions given by the Lord Manager are sufficient for three days, and on average, one Lord can manage seven to ten buildings. Alright, interesting. Let's appoint a manager in the hall where the builders are assigned. Select the hall. Click the management button. Choose a Lord. And then wait for the Lord to distribute instructions to the workers. Oh, so he's, he's a level 10, which doesn't get much much of a bonus, does he? Alright, let's go let's go with Vita. Oh, we have to select Ogonka. Go on, Ogonka. Is that Ogonka? That's Diva. I don't know what this little hand is there for. There's Vitabal. Where's a Oh, there's a Gonka. Ah, she's giving away the instructions. Shaking her fist. Do your jobs. Grr. Grr. If you speed time up, it gets weirder. Okay. Uh, great. The workers are now aware of your plans and ready to start building. Wood is the primary resource for construction, so our first priority is to build a lumber mill. Click on the construction menu, select resources, and choose the lumber mill. Construction, resources, lumber mill. You have a little bit of a look at what's around here? No, we can only see this for now. Lumber mill. And it wants us to build it right there. And only there. Uh, now let's build a rye field to ensure everybody has food. Rye field. The rye field is best placed on fertile soil, otherwise it will yield very little. And I guess all of this here is the uh, the fertile food. Okay. Wait for it to be constructed, so we'll speed everything up. Is this all of our family at the moment? Zivogast. He's uh he's got mild loneliness going on, but he's very persuasive. Vitabor. Oh, joy of foolishness. Lovely. And Agonka. Uh, she discussed rumors and she enjoyed it. Excellent. Uh, so we now need to assign managers to these. So let's just... Well, Agonka's already doing something, right? So we can't really select Agonka. So Vitabor down there. And uh, I guess that one means that they're assigned somewhere. And then Zivogast over there. And it said they only last for a certain amount of time. I can't click on that building, probably because I guess we're in the... Uh... Oh, 
Once the workers receive their instructions, they will start their duties. During the day they work and in the evening they attend to their personal matters, receiving salaries, purchasing goods and drinking beer. To manage prices and salaries, click on the finance menu. Oh my word. Um, here on the right in the daily expenses, you see the salary that is paid out. There it is. Yep. And on the left, the prices and quantities of your products that you sell to the peasants at the local market every evening. Give them the money and then just take it all back again. Ideally, one character consumes one unit of food per day and to relieve fatigue, they need to drink one unit of alcohol. Just as a, a heads up, that is not what alcohol does in real life. It does not relieve fatigue. So we have no, no alcohol, so that's tough. We've got plenty of food in, mainly rutabaga, which they pay three for. Okay. Currently, the worker's salary is five. Five for peasants, five for warriors. Uh, and the price of flour is seven. That means that workers will not be able to buy food every day and will go hungry. So if we reduce the price of that to four, they can actually afford to eat. They could, also, they could buy rutabaga, though. I mean, picky much. Done. Markets operate in the evening after 6 o'clock when peasants have free time for shopping and rest. Note that alcohol and food can vary in quality. For example, cheap rutabaga is not tasty and can lead to disease, whilst flavorful ale will give an additional mood bonus. Okay. Tasks for lords. Besides managing buildings, your lords can also carry out other tasks. However, they will refuse to do so if they are unhappy. It seems that one of them is already unhappy now. This is indicated by the red background of his portrait. Vitabor. Let's see what happened. Select the unhappy lord by clicking on his portrait. In the lord's menu, you can see his main indicators such as mood and loyalty. Mood, zero. Uh, inventory and traits. You can hover over any icon to learn more details. With values below 25, the Lord will refuse to carry out your orders and fall into depression, which can lead to a nervous breakdown. Wow. He has no rings, which is making him a little bit sad. And he has a torturous desire. He has a torturous desire for holy rings. Holy rings. I'm sorry. Holy rings. Very different. Um, which is giving him minus 160. So he's, he's going to constantly be miserable. If the mood is low, the Lord may become depressed. Yep, we saw that. Below tw if loyalty falls below 25, he may leave your noble family. Now, to find out why the Lord is unhappy, click on Needs. Torturous Desire. Yeah, we already know. Return to the main tab. If you hover your mouse over the Desire icon, you'll see your dreams of holy rings. The rings that appear in the resource list in the upper left corner belong to your king and are in his inventory. Do we actually have that then? I guess so. It looks grayed out. Let's share the holy rings with this lord by rewarding him and at the same time increasing his loyalty. Click the action button, select the king section, and choose reward. That costs five holy rings? Is that what that means? Is that, is that a different currency? It is holy rings. Once your king finds the time, he will reward the lord you have chosen. However, you can make him complete the task immediately. Click on the king. Click on the reward task in the list of received tasks at the top of the menu. Oh, those are his two tasks. He's got to inspect the field, and then he's going to give the reward. So if we click on that, he'll do it straight away, I'm guessing. Is that what that means? We don't want to cancel it, which I'm guessing that is. We do. We just wanted to do this. And then we have to wait for the king to reward him. He should be doing it. I think that's what that little icon next to his thing means. That's what he's doing, right? The efficiency in performing tasks depends on the lord's skill level, which you can see on the third tab of the character menu, which we can't click on now. Please note that the Church of St. Sophia has granted each house only five titles for lords, Therefore, it's best if the skills of some lords match those of other lords. Okay. When your heir grows up, he will also need a vacant title. But while he is still a child, it's time to focus on his education. Uh, lords gain experience by engaging in skill-related activities. It can also be obtained through education or textbooks. Children gain more experience from education. Makes sense. Let's assign education to the young man. So, action, education... 
Uh, and then the field we want him to know about. Warfare. Uh, who's going to teach him it? Um, skill combat level up to four, up to eight. So eight and six seems better, doesn't it? Teaching skill of three. They all. Oh, she has a teaching skill of eight. So what if we choose something different? Three, four. Three, two. There's a Gonkon. Oh, because so we could teach him about philosophy, and he'll get that and lots of extra experience, or general training, and you get no pop up. All right, let's do philosophy. Uh, when two lords are involved, oh, yeah, when two lords are involved in the task, you will see the task icon in the menu for both. Uh, so it's a Gonka doing this one, yep. Yeah. Remember that you can ask them to complete the task immediately. So uh, go do that, please, Agonka. Skills alone are not enough. To build and produce, gain special bonuses, and acquire expertise in skills and knowledge of other languages, you need knowledge. They are contained in books or the minds of lords. Books, in turn, are purchased from the holy caravan and stored in the library. Fortunately, it's already built. In the knowledge menu, you can, you can assign lords to study and write books. Books can be written in different languages, but most books on technology belong to the imperial period and are written in the imperial language. Open the knowledge menu, assign a lord to study Bruin. So Hopfield and Beer. Learn, rewrite. Okay, so they just basically copy the book. But we want them to learn it, just to study it. Ah, so that's performed daily. And that's performed during the working hours. I'm trying to see what the difference, what the benefit would be to each. After studying, the character be able to create a copy of it using paper. Ah, so if they haven't studied it, they can't copy it. That makes sense, doesn't it? So learn... The faster the knowledge is acquired. Uh, let's give it to Vitabor. If at least one Lord Re has read a book, it becomes available to all. However, if he dies, the knowledge will be lost. Close the knowledge menu and wait for the completion of the study. You can double click on the portrait of any Lord to quickly move the camera to them. Where are you, Vitabor? There you are. Is this the library? It is. You're going to go study. Good job. Good job. In this settlement, a mill has already been built. This building grinds rye into flour, which the residents buy to cook at home. The mill and other production buildings require task assignment. For this, there is the production menu. You can place a one-time order or request ongoing support to maintain a desire level. Let's order the support for maintaining the quantity of flour at 60 units per day. Oh, there's more text, but I didn't get to read it. Uh, done. Now the peasants will take rye from the warehouses by themselves, and at the end of the working day, they will bring the produced flour to the warehouse. Please note that you already have 30 units of flour, but to complete this task of producing 60 units, you will need an additional 30 units of rye, as one unit of rye produces one unit of flour. You got some experience. Good job. We have a bandit attack. Oh, holy Sophia. Bandits have stealthily approached our settlement. We must fight back. Fortunately, we have some time before they launch their attack. Open the army menu. <laughs> this allows you to create combat squads, but first you need to hire warriors. We have a few warriors here, but we'd like to increase our chances. You can add warriors by freeing slaves, inviting unfortunate peasants, or hiring mercenaries. Newly hired peasants and slaves will be consumed by the fear of death and will run away at the first sign of danger, while mercenaries usually need one or two days to reach your settlement. Fortunately, there is a group of mercenaries near the city ready to be hired right now. And there is some weaponry in the warehouse, so let's increase your army. Note that you must pay the church a daily tax for your warriors, of course. The amount of which depends on their skill. Hire several mercenaries. These are all mercenaries? How much gold do we have? We have 3,000. Okay, I mean, it's flashing on this one. Lots of mercenaries. Okay. Every unit should be led by a lord. The higher their command skill, the higher the unit's morale will be, and the lower the chances of the soldiers fleeing when taking damage. You will also select the warriors who will form the squad and the equipment they will be armed with. Click on the squad creation button. Select a commanding lord. 
which I guess is going to be Viterbor because he's got eight. What should we do our king? Let's, let's send our king out. By clicking on the warriors in the barracks, move all of them to the squad. Move the second lord into the squad as well. Viterbor's going in as well, is he? All right. Arm your squad. Oh, I can't give them more armor. Okay, you're out of luck there. Finish by clicking create. There we go. Now wait for your new warriors to pick up weapons from the warehouse. Oh, he's fully kitted out. Can't move. Oh, there we go. The squad is under your direct control and can be managed with the right mouse button. You can find its menu in the lower left corner. Can I? Oh, is that it? Uh, select your squad by clicking on its banner or the commander's portrait at the top. Is this what I'm looking at? Uh, I guess so. No, because now it's disappeared. Select your squad by clicking on its banner or the command port commander's portrait at the top. Is this the squad? No, those are problems. You can find its menu in the lower left corner. Lower left. I can't click on that. So I can click on him. Click on the right mouse button on the enemy's banner. Oh, there we go. Okay. To engage in combat. And engage in combat they do. One has surrendered. One is dead. And another one's dead. Hooray! The bandit squad has been defeated and their leader is vanquished. Your warriors will capture and take as hostages those who survived and the peasants will bring them to the settlement later. Now is a good time to launch a counterattack on their camp. Switch to the global map. Here you can see your settlement and your neighbours with whom you interact with. Now it's time to deal with the bandits. Click on the bandit settlement. Action. And attack. Uh, on the local map, this squad. And send army. Excellent. How do we know if they're on their way? Do we get like a little thing? How do we know? I don't know. How do we send to the camera? I thought it was double click to send. Is it because we're paused? How do we unpause? And it still wants me on this screen. Oh, there we go. Is that the route he's taken? Or is he actually... Oh, he's actually fighting, I think. It's hard to tell. Here you can see your own and the enemy squad as well as an approximate balance of power. Where do I see that? That one. Uh, you can retreat from the battle if it seems unwinnable. Play out the battle automatically or personally command your squad in combat. Mm. Press the central button to start the battle. Oh, here we go. Okay. When you initiate the attack, your squad is positioned on the left and the enemy on the right. The bandits won't wait and will immediately engage you. Click on your squad's banner to control them. Right click to move the squad. Right, hold on. You are going too fast. Just go and attack. All out war. And let's speed up. Hooray! Victory. One escaped. Two are captured. Nobody died. Well, that's good. Uh, the bandit camp has been destroyed. We got better relations, a better attitude towards our matriarch, and we got some loot. Nice. Back you go, uh, Zivogast. 
Your squad has defeated the enemy, freed the hostage and will soon return home. But besides bandits, your settlement is surrounded by neighbours. Their kings may have varying attitudes towards your king which can lead to both conflicts and cooperation. For example, you can save on the construction of hop fields if you enter into a long-term contract with a neighbour for the supply of this product. To enter into a trade contract, you must either be in the same state as your neighbour or have friendly relations with them. There are many ways to establish a friendship with the neighbouring king. Give him a gift, send your lord on a mission, or simply send your king to hunt with him. Let's improve the neighbouring king's attitudes towards, you, towards yours to conclude a trade deal. Click on the city. Uh, select lords. Choose the neighbouring king. And select wolf hunting. With our king. Oh, okay. Off you go. Go king, go. Da, 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 da. Off he goes and he's coming back. Everyone's happy. They had a great time together and now the neighbouring king considers you a friend. It's the perfect time to talk business. To conclude a profitable deal, send your lord with the highest trade skill. Click on the neighbouring city. Assign. Trade. Selling hop? He's selling hop. Yeah. Uh, who has the best... Zivagast is 3, Vitabor is 10, Gonker, so the, we would buy it for 56 there, 47 there, or 58 there, so let's send Vitabor off, oh that's the child isn't it down there, oh no we have to send Zivagast, even though he is not the worst, but not very good, okay. Many tasks can be carried out using messengers, however they require paper. That's a bit misleading because he's buying hop. As far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure that's what he was doing. Uh, my beloved Zivogast, I'm writing to express my delight at the conclusion of such a lucrative trade agreement. Not everyone can sheathe their swords and engage in negotiations. Signed by my own hand, King Grimalon. Entered into a trade agreement, which means uh, we will create daily trade offer under the conditions below. Sending a messenger to execute this deal will not cost paper. Relationships have improved. Uh, Grimalon or Grimelon will daily offer to sell 15 hops. Holy Caravan buys and sells this. Remaining days until the end of the contract. Ten. Okay. In the trade menu, every day at 11am, a button to buy hops will appear at the price you negotiated. Buy hops. Hooray. A free peasant from your city will do something. Okay. Uh, Holy Caravan, Golden Norland, comes and goes from the economy either through the pockets of peasants, uh, pe pockets of peasant migrants, I should say, or through trade. The Holy Caravan arrives in the evening once every three days and is the main source of gold, holy rings, which are a luxury appreciated by lords, as well as books and prisoners. Wait until the caravan arrives at its destination, click on the caravan and select a lord to trade with him. Which will be Ritterborg, because he's got the best trade. Okay. The availability of goods at the caravan depends on your relationship with the matriarch of the Church of St. Sophia. This way, the church contributes to maintaining balance in the world, but books and holy rings are always available. So we want 10 holy rings and a book. Okay. Do we don't want to hit trade? Do we want to hit trade? I guess so. Didn't say that specifically, but that's what we're doing. Uh, in any society, there are unfortunate individuals simply by circumstances. Unfortunate prisoners and warriors may incite revolts, while free peasants be prefer to become vagabonds. Vagabonds see no point in working, and when their resources run out, they turn to crimes, street robberies, theft from warehouses, and so on. To prevent crime, deploy a, con uh, pro a patrol banner. Right there. In the patrol banner, determine the radius of action and assign warriors and they will guard the area around the flag in the evening when criminals commit crimes. Reduce the radius of action so the warriors do not go far from the warehouse. Which one's the warehouse? Is this the warehouse? I thought this was our place. Okay. Um, by default, three warriors are assigned. Let's reduce it to two. And we want to reduce the patrol radius. Oh, it really does reduce the patrol radius. If the criminal has managed to commit a crime, he can still be punished. To do this, build scaffolds. 
which means we need to learn scaffold technology. So a gonker is going to learn scaffolds. I mean, not now. And then we will be... It says in the services. Services. But surely it means construction. We don't know anything yet, so we can't do anything. Go, Agonka, go. How did we... Zoom to them. It's not left click. It's not middle click. It's not right click. Oh, that services. She already learned it. That was quick. Let's place that down there. Someone come and build that, please. The gonk has gone. Lovely. These people are just sleeping in the street. Good. Knock, 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 knock. And there are our scaffolds. Executioners work at the scaffold, and like other buildings, it requires instructions from the Lord. The executioners search for crime suspects, bring them to the scaffold, and if someone among those present in the square recognizes them, they will suffer the punishment you have chosen. If there are no suspects, the executioners engage in prevention. They go around and intimidate vagabonds. I thought they were all managed doing something. Are they not? Oh, they can do more than one thing. Okay. Fighting crime is one of the most important ways to maintain good morale. However, oh no, not however, you can hover your mouse over the icons of your province to learn more about your subjects. Okay, we're going to get five migrants today. There is homelessness and mild fatigue. Your subjects are diverse. Among them are religious fanatics, loyalists, and so on. Uh, loyalists, for example, arise from happy peasants, so you need to build separate housing for them and provide them with plenty of good food and alcohol. In return, you can assign them to specific production facilities where they will work more diligently than others and call them into the army. Hover the mouse over. Go over loyalists. Which just tells us about loyalists. Okay. During the game, you can always seek assistance by opening the encyclopedia. Sometimes hints related to the current situation will appear. Okay. Uh, you have completed the basic training. Now you can explore the other features of the game on your own. One last piece of advice. To progress faster, you will need a lot of wood and will need to satisfy the basic needs of the peasants to maintain a high migration rate. Therefore, we recommend building at the beginning two or three lumber mills and upgrade them to the third level, an altar and a tavern. If you don't know where to start, hover your mouse over the red flag of problems in the top left corner. I wouldn't say it's very red, but okay. Uh, well, let's continue this game then, right? So that's got Vitabor going there. That's fine. Um, yep, okay. So we need... Let's just put it on normal speeds. We need more lumber mills. We built one lumber mill and said it needs to be upgraded, didn't it? Yeah, that's what a lumber mill is. How do you upgrade a lumber mill? It's level one. Oh, upgrade. Oh, they're, they're in progress. Right, so we need another lumber mill. Does it matter where it goes? I'm not sure. We'll put one up here. That'll do. And then another one here. Excellent. Good job, everyone. Our rye field's on the go. Do we need another rye field? Uh, we need a barracks. People have no, an altar. They did mention an altar, didn't they? Uh, service altar. Which we'll put um, here. What is this? What have I just built it next to? This is the mill. Okay. I thought, no, Vitabor's got, he just hasn't gone there, but Vitabor is on his way there. That's fine. What was the other thing it said? You de Or a tavern. Right, yeah, I have, I've remembered. So let's put the tavern quite central, because I think that makes a sense. Let's put the tavern there. Right, lots of stuff for you all to go and do. Go and do it. We already have a mill, so I don't think we need another mill. Uh, we have a world summary. No events. Daily statistics. Everything's good. Uh, we do have... Uh, Homelessness and mild fatigue. How do we know how many homeless people we have? Does it tell us here? It says we have four homeless people. 
so, not resources, service. Not a den. How do you build a oh, housing? There you go. So we've got a peasant's house for two peasants, a dormitory for ten peasants, or a lord's. We don't need a dormitory, so we need a couple of peasants' houses, don't we? So let's build some peasants' houses. We'll build them, um, like over here somewhere. There you go. Lovely. So that's the homelessness taken care of. Mild fatigue. Uh, I don't know what I do about mild fatigue. Uh, we're building an altar. We're making a tavern. Alcohol production is absent, but we do have hops coming in now, don't we? You can, you can go away now. We do have hops coming in. How do we see... We don't have hops coming in. I thought we were having hops coming in. The caravan's supposed to be bringing it. We'll wait till the caravan brings it in. And then I'm assuming we'll be able to make a brewery. But they've got a few things to build at the moment. So let's let them do that. They're still doing everything they need to. That's great. Workers do not know your plans and require instructions from your lords. The instructions will last for three days after which the workers will stop. The lord will strive to update instructions in the assigned buildings every day. Starting with the buildings that require them the most. The additional amount of product produced by a building depends on the management skill. Okie dokie, that's fine. Um, do we need a barracks? We have a very weak army. Hire at least seven warriors in the army menu. So our gold is going up, so that wouldn't hurt. Ah, buildings need a manager. Right, so you need a manager. Vitable's already doing two, so you can have Zivogast. Uh, Vitable's doing two. I mean, she's not very good, but I suppose she can have uh, Avonka. You've already got Vitabor. Okay. You're about to be finished, and you're also going to need a manager. Uh, so I guess we'll go Vitabor. He's now got three to do. He's very busy. Uh, in the world of Norlands, lords do not have access to gold mines and do not mint money themselves. This is done by the Lovin family. There are several basic ways to make money. You can sell some of your produce to the Holy Caravan. Uh, you can trade with neighbours. And you can gather a squad and attack Forest Bander. Oh. Vetro set to Zivagast to spread rumours about Vitabor. What is going on there? Uh, click on the notification button on the with the left mouse button to navigate to the problem. Or right mouse button to dismiss it. You can also click on notifications that appear at the top center of the screen. Okay. Oh, I've just dismissed all of it. I thought it would just do one. That's fine. That's fine. So Zivagast is down there. What is that there? What does that icon mean? What does this icon here mean? It's got no wheat coming in, perhaps? We are I guess that means we're producing wheat. Even though that's rye. Does rye get, rye get turned into flour? I think rye gets turned into flour. Okay. So we've done this one. Yeah, they're down there. That's fine. Is that mean we don't know? So she's learned military logistics. I feel like we should have someone read about the mines. Um... I'm going to do Zivogast just because he hasn't done any other learning so far. Okay. So we've got wood coming in. We've got uh, hops coming in. We're not actually making any other food apart from that and flour. And flour... We have 200, but it says we're not making any. I don't know if that's just because that just hasn't produced anything yet, perhaps. Where was the finance, wasn't it? Yeah, here. That should be fine. Okay. At the end of the day, each peasant receives a salary. Yep, we know about that. And they will try to buy something at the tavern that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> and make sure the price of food is lower than the salary. The remainder of the money after buying food would be enough for one unit of alcohol every two to three days. That's fine. Right, speed everything up a little bit. Ah, oh, they're praying at the altar. Good, so that got rid of one of our problems. Alcohol production is still absent. I don't know where this caravan is necessarily. We have a very weak army. Ah, something just happened. We have a tavern. We don't have anything to sell in it. But we have a tavern. Hooray for us. It says we should have more 
army. It says we need seven. One, two, three. We've got five at the moment. So if we just hire... the next two cheapest ones. Now we have seven. Excellent. Go us. Problem number two solved. There was a third thing it told us we should do. I don't know what the third thing... I can't remember what the third thing was. Oh no, that's it, isn't it? Because it was lumber mills, tavern, altar. No, so we're fine. Uh, we just did that, didn't we? Oh, they're, just, they're on their way. They're not here yet, so that's fine. That's going to sort itself out. And we need a barracks. So let's produce a barracks. Army barracks. And let's set this off to the side a little bit, shall we? Right then. How are we doing? Still homelessness. There are nine homeless. Wow. Uh, let's make them a really miserable dormitory, which houses ten peasants. And we're going to stick that over there. You're welcome. Now what else is going on? We're losing 200 gold a day at the moment. Maybe when this, um, when these come in, we'll, we'll launch another raid, perhaps. Because we don't have a squad anymore. Is that what I'm seeing there? I think that's what I'm seeing there. Let's just have... What are you telling me? Oh, that he's still learning? Okay, cool. Um, we don't have any other bandit camps around us. The only thing we're making is wood. Does anyone want to trade in wood? <laughs> we're making flour now. We've got some of that rye coming in. We're making some flour. I think we've sold some of our uh, terrible food. So that's nice. Uh, to send an army to attack a neighboring city or send your lord there. Yeah, I think we're okay with that. They're all green. They're all happy. Uh, when they build these houses, there will be less homelessness, so that will help. I still don't know what to do about the fatigue. Don't be fatigued. Economic report. Uh, paid wages, produced 77 and sold 140. So I think we made, we made money. I think. I think we made money. It's, it's hard to tell. I don't know. I think that's a telling us he's still learning, is it? Lots of unavailable knowledge, but I guess that's fine. We can buy a book from the caravan when it comes back, can't we? Whenever that happens to be. Still waiting for these 17 hours. Everyone's having a lovely little sleep. Am I supposed to be hitting buy on that? Every night, I think I am. Just say, I'm gonna say trade automatically. Just do it. Let's just do it. We need the hops coming in, don't we? Although we could just put down a hop field. Do we have unemployed? We have one unemployed, so not really. If we have more people come in, she's got slightly sad. Why have you got slightly sad? Oh, is that another another thing up here? Barracks, alcohol? No, so that's fine. Um, why have you got slightly moody? Holy Sophia has forsaken me. Few rings, moderate fatigue. Do I want to give her some rings? Yeah, let's keep her happy. Let's do that. And then you, uh, you go and just do that straight away, please. Several tips to help you at the beginning of the game. Build two to three lumber mills. Build a library and assign laws to study new knowledge. We're doing that. Assure you have enough food. Build a tavern and an altar. Alcohol is running loose. Set a production of moonshine. Don't forget to buy books from the caravan. Where do we... Oh, so that's what you do with... Oh, so we need the... Oh, you can make moonshine with the... With the... With the... With the rutabagas, whatever they're called. Where are we making those? They went down. That's now gone back up. Where are we making those? Where do they come from? So we're not making them there. Can we see like a list of our buildings somewhere? Crafting consumables. Uh, 
grown in grown in rutabaga fields, which makes sense. I just don't know where they are. I can't see a rutabaga field anywhere. So I don't know why that went back up to 100. Maybe that's just like a um, thing for being on easy mode. Uh, let's put let's not put it next to the peasants. We don't trust it. Well, then it's got to be next to the army. Let's put it. Oh, I suppose it's got to be close to the tavern, though. Okay, let's put it over here. Scaffolds there. We've already got a scaffold. I'm not worry about that. What does the den do? Here, nectar is sold. Okay. We've already got a market. That's where they buy their food. It says we've got a warehouse, but I don't know where this warehouse is, you know. Told us that that is there protecting the warehouse, but I I, I cannot see a warehouse for, the, for love nor money. Right, there's lots of things for them to build. Lots and lots of things. Oh, Virtual Set has got a new intellect level and a new teaching level. Good job. Why are you still unhappy? Uh, the king decides that it's time to announce the ambitions that will determine the future of your noble family. Conqueror. Power leads to prosperity. Add three vassals to your kingdom. Unifier. Only by helping each other can we stand strong. Expand your alliance of three cities to three provinces. Fertile. The more population, the more strength. Increase the population... Can I... Oh, I select which one. Increase the population of the province or economy, achieve daily production. That seems like the easiest one to start with. So we're going to do that. Uh, and don't, don't fail, basically. Okay. The warehouse provides characters with access to all the resources you have. The first storage is located on the right wing of the hall. Ah, right. Okay. Before, more, uh, before work, all peasants try to attend the morning service at Temple. Should have put that a bit closer to the centre, I think. After that, at 9 o'clock, uh, workers from resource buildings like lumber mills go directly to the temple, to the, from the temple to their workplaces, while workers from production buildings first go to the warehouse. So the further they have to walk, the less time they have to work. Constructing additional storages will help reduce the travel time. Additional builders can be hired at the storages. Well, we don't really have any people to do that. Uh, we still have a few homeless, but this will be here soon, so that's good. The ceremony of coronation will take place today. Excellent. Good. Uh, yep, you've already told us about notification, so that's fine. That's just going to tell us what the hall does. That's also fine. Everyone's got their tasks. Uh, he's got three. I suppose she's got two things in learning. She's got two things in teaching. He's got three management jobs, and there'll be another job coming up very soon, I'm guessing. You keep flicking up, but I mean, we're, we're learning. People are learning about stuff. He's learning about mines. Everything's good. There's a mining place over there, look. Maybe we'll put a warehouse over there when we get to that point. Ogonga had a heartfelt conversation with Vetchelset. That's nice. Who is Vetchelset? Is that the kid? Yeah, all right. She's happier now, probably because she got her rings. A uh, freelance lord. They come from lords who left their family for some reason and did not join another. They come with holy caravans and offer their services for holy rings. While waiting to be hired, they stand at the entrance of your hall. The contract will last for 10 days after which they will leave. They can be appointed for any tasks. If a hired lord becomes friend with your king, you'll be able to invite them into your family and grant them a title. Well, another lord would be very useful. I don't think they're there yet, so let's, uh, let's speed everything up till they get there. Wait, what's this? Oh, they're talking about the fact he's on his way. They are, they're excited to see him. Our dormitory is there. We now have no homelessness. We just have fatigue. We do now have the brewery, though. So we need to put a manager on that. I know he's got three things. But she's got two things in teaching and he's got two things in... Oh, let's do a gonker. That's fine. Let's do a gonker. That's... Yeah, whatever. Whatevs. Whatevs. So money is going down a little, but when we get some alcohol in, we'll be in a better position then. That should just be going automatically. We're only getting 15 hops, though. We do have 30 in stock. Right. Engaged in trade between cities and... Or the Holy Caravan engaged in trade between cities and serves as the primary source of gold and holy rings. Additionally, it trades in books and prisoners. They are protected and managed by the Inquisition. Don't forget to buy books. Okay. So 
So I need to wait for him to go there. You, how do I hire you? Hire a lord. Uh, Zivogast is going to go do that. Okay. Right. What have we got? Do we want to buy some more rings? We're giving them that to pay for our warriors. Do we have anything to sell? We've got quite a lot of wood. We have 81 wood coming. So we could buy... Let's buy like 10 rings again. How many rings do we have? We have 15. But we might want to butter up Gelleran. So let's buy those. And we'll buy another book. Um, cooking meat, keeping prisoners, herbalist. We want one of the basic ones. But we've already got... We've got an altar, not a temple, I suppose. Let's do the temple. And let's sell some of this to offset it a bit. Because can I do like a shift click to get more? Yeah, sweet. So that's got it down to 287. Let's do a bit more. Our market's saturated, so the price will be reduced. Let's do that then. Okay. I don't really want to sell any of our flour. Do we have beer? Where do we get beer from? No idea. But cool, we got beer. Sweet. That'll do then. Let's trade. Good job. Thank you for that. Which means we have another piece of knowledge we can learn. The king's already learning something. Uh, I guess it'll be Vitabor who will learn about this. And we need to put... Oh, Gonka's already doing it. I, I got distracted. Can we tell it what to make? Oh, that's down here, isn't it? Um... So we can make beer. I said do until 60. We've got 142. What happened? What happened? So I guess we'll do until 60 on the beer as well. Oh, you can't. That's weird. And Moonshine will do until like 20, just as like a backup, right? Is he the, he's the Vagabonds or is that the Holy Caravan? I'm not too sure. Who are you? Goes to a caravaneer. Did we hire this guy? Someone was supposed to be on their way to do that, weren't they? Is that? No, he's trading. Oh, no, that is Gellerin. So I think... Oh, that's the trader. Zygavast is on his way to do that, but he's just up there just chilling. Okay. Yep, we are trying to do that. Ceremony begins. Coronation. Lovely. Fatigue, but we should have beer coming in soon. We've got beer, so let's just check our trade. Not our trade. Our um, finances. That's what I wanted. What does the amount mean? Yeah, just, just max? How do we just say max? Do we need to drop the price of that? Because they need to be able to afford to buy it. They said every like two to three days. And currently they'll only be having an extra one gold left over. So I might even do one and two. So at least every two days they can get a beer. Cool. That should be better. Everyone's going to sleep. Are we still trying to hire this guy? Is it because I didn't tell him to do it straight away? Absolutely, that's why it didn't happen. Let's hope that Gellerin stays around. Until the morning. Everyone's going to sleep. There he goes. He's doing it now. Okay. He has been hired. We now have Gellerin. Excellent. So I might actually... Oh, he's even worse. Let's put him down there because he doesn't have a lot else going on at the moment. What is this little marker? I don't know. Uh, we have one problem remaining. The Lord has no housing. That is a problem. That is a problem. Housing Lord's house. We'll just pop this one over here. Equally spaced out with the others. We're doing okay there. We lost some wood, but that's because we're building stuff, so that's fine. Foreign trade report. Well, yeah, we did some trade. Excellent. Is there anything we can do over here? Do we want to do anything else? We're happy with this dude, right? 
What's this guy's opinion of us? How do we find out? No opinion. And you, also no opinion. Okay. You are happy? No thoughts. It's just because it was in green, but I guess they just all have different colours, right? Or is that... We're, we're both Varns? Whatever that means. We're both on some way the same wavelength? I don't know. There's no other city down there. I might... Uh... So I said we could trade with them to make them happy. Selling iron and buying paper is no good for us. What about you? Herb and swords, that's also no good. What about you? Rye and buying heavy armor. So that's not going to do us any good. Uh, we need to build additional warehouses, apparently. I might send my king over here to go hunting. Let's see if we can't... Um get them on side and then let's build an additional warehouse then okay not that service warehouse so we've got one there I might put one like up here to service all of these things and then maybe another one will stick behind here so it's ready for the mine and it'll deal with the hops and everything there is a bit of a path going down here can we do do paths? does it make any difference I don't think so. I don't think so. It's just a, a different colour. So we're building warehouses. That's fine. They function without workers and you can even hire additional builders. In addition, there are technologies that can accelerate construction by almost two times. Okay. Wait, technologies? Is there a research thing other than this? I don't know. They're both learning stuff, though. We do have four unemployed people now, though. So, if we think about getting down a hop field, we can cancel that trade deal with uh, Matey Jim. There's nothing else we can really do at the moment, is there? So, yeah, let's get down a hop field. go over there. I thought that was a terrible place. It should have gone there. I'm annoyed it made me put it there. So I'm not going to get another nice one in. Let's get, let's get some hops down. And then we don't have to worry about that trade deal so we won't be losing money there. A new heretic cult in the northern woods. Oh, that's not good, right? Is that my king? Oh, that's Grimlon. He's gone. Oh, Grimlon's gone over there. Wait, isn't my king supposed to be over there? Go do that, please. Heirs' Rebellion. Well, there's a rebellion up here. And a protection against rebellion as well. The ruler of Moon Realm has died. That's what happened there. I was going to say it's quite far from us. So we're not going to worry. But it's actually not that far from us. They've just got unhappy with us was that them unhappy with them I don't know anyway our king has gone over there he's gone hunting did that say Grimast oh the Great Mist I think I got confused with that king's name down there because that was was that not something similar Grimlon yes we began with a G. You won't say it's that similar. How did we initiate trade with them before? How did that even happen? Oh, it's here, wasn't it? We went trade. Selling iron or buying paper. I don't think I really need any of those things. Yeah, I didn't really pick up on the fact that that was literally all we could do there. Okay, that's fine. We won't worry about it. 
Global map relationships between neighboring provinces are presented as personal relationships between kings. Uh, yep. That determines how happy they are with you. That makes sense. Do you need a manager? I thought warehouses didn't need... Oh, they don't need workers, but they need managers. Okay, we're just going to set Galeron on everything. And hope that Galeron stays, basically. <laughs> By overworking him constantly. I said they didn't need any workers. But... Well, they're not being built yet. No, that's builders in the warehouse. We don't really want builders in the warehouse. How many does this take? Three. You know, I don't want builders in the warehouse. I don't think I need extra builders. Because this has got builders? Yeah, builders and servants. Yeah, I don't think I need any extra builders. So let's get those off. I suppose I could put one on. So we only need three people to work in the field. Okay. Uh, can we dismiss these? Let's dismiss all of those. So now our hops and up and running. We're going to have three workers there. We'll appoint. We do want this to work. So let's put Zivagas there. And then with our trade deal, I'm going to dismiss the trade automatically. We can just produce our own hops. I don't know why you ended up over there. Making more beer? We're making lots of beer. Nice. Oh, that icon must mean it's not producing anything because it's full. That must mean what it is. Oh, they're going on a date. And we've got four migrants. We've got more workers. Wait, do we have homeless? Yes, of course we do. Let's build another dormant. Not a dormitory. Yeah, that was a dormitory. Just looked very different and it confused me. So let's build a dormitory over there. Wood is looking good. We've got lots of wood coming in. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a lot else we need at the moment. We just need to sort of research more, really, don't we? We need more books for that. This mining will be completed soon. Is he naked? Why is the king... Wait, what? Is that because he's on his date? <laughs> they were both... I just realised they were both naked. Um... Can I butter him up? Currently the relationship between them is minus 26. Well, let's give him a reward then. Let's do that. If you could do that quick sharp. The number of incoming new peasants depends on the average mood of the peasants in the city. In addition, new settlers bring with them accumulated gold from their previous location. Nice. You can reduce migration by spreading bad rumours in your village. I don't want to do that. Or selling less alcohol, did it say? No, bring more people in. That's what I said I'd do to the king. Why are you getting slightly moody? Severe hunger and fatal fatigue. Need for rest. Then drink. There's alcohol. I don't want to do... And severe hunger. I mean, we've got food. We've got flour, mate. Need that to stay up. There we go. Had an orgasm plus 30. <laughs> Need for food. There is food. Go to the market. Get food. That's only for soldiers and peasants. So. It says he's got he's getting flour. He should be fine. Yeah, I don't know who he's complaining about. What about Vitable? What's his problem? Holy of and fatigue again. Just get some alcohol. I don't understand your problems. There is alcohol. I don't know why you're not drinking the alcohol to get some sleep. Which again, is not how it works. Please don't do that. Why is she green? Is she poorly? And what does the Holy Sophia has forsaken me mean actually? Let's just have a look at this. Nope, didn't last quite long enough. Need for piety. Build a temple. Did I... I bought that but I don't think I've uh, finished researching yet, have I? No. That's, uh... Oh, we finished doing the mines, though. So we can now get a mine. We do have four... We have four homeless. Oh, we're building the thing for that, don't we? We also have unemployed, though. So let's pop a mine down. Is that the only place it can go? Let's have a quick check. I think so. And then that warehouse will service it. Awesome. 
Good job. Everyone go. She's happier. Good old Greener Gonka. Is she poorly? Was she always green? Did I just not pay enough attention? I can't get rid of that now. There we go. We're only on day three. The demo goes for 25 days. How long have we been recording? An hour. Of course it's an hour. Tonight, the last Emperor Maximilian appeared to me. The loving family has betrayed me. They have strayed from the covenants of Mother Sophia to seize the Crimson Throne. Your family, my descendants, and your destiny to challenge the church, reclaim my castle, and establish a new empire. But first, you must unite Nordland with pen or sword. It seems I have found the purpose of our house. Unite 15 Nordland provinces under your control, either as a king of a vassal state or as leader of a union of free cities. Proclaim yourself the new emperor and challenge the church's inquisition to seize the stone of faith and lay claim to the crimson throne. What? What just happened? I feel like we just said we're going to take over the entire world, which seems excessive. Can I see how big? They've got five lords and a guest lord. 27 peasants. I've got 28 actually. 31. Uh, Vetroset has gained a new level and Vetroset has gained a new combat level. Make sure you have more children as when the current generation of lords dies you may find yourself in a difficult situation. Brief coffin fit, sorry. The best solution is legitimate marriage. Choose a bride for your lords on the global map. Marriage greatly improves relations between houses, so pay attention to the bride's family. The bride price depends on her skills. Wait, is Vitibor a queen? Is, are they married? Oh yeah, no, she is. Yeah, she's the princess. Or whatever it would be. <clears throat> but I don't really want to send her off to another city, so she's going to stay here and do stuff for me. <laughs> I don't want to lose her. We've got a building that needs a manager. or oh, the mine, yes. Point of mine. Oh, we never upgraded our lumber mills, did we? That's what we were supposed to do. Three, two, three, three. So it's going to be a gunker, even though she's not great. But that's fine. It only needs one worker. So I suppose we could put in a couple more builders then, couldn't we? Can we not give it more workers? Can we give that? No, that is at max. We'll put in a couple more builders then. Um, yeah, so this one we upgraded, didn't we? That's level two. Let's upgrade these. Upgrade and upgrade. Uh, the consequences of war... The Holy Caravan will sell wood. I don't want that. That's fine. It'll be increased in price. And the ruler of Treewood, Tillerock, has disappeared. Uh, the chief of Stolron has brought tribute. He will now deliver it to your warehouse. And the chief of Gifford has brought tribute. I've got a proper little tickle in my throat. Stolron and Gifford. Oh, okay. There are little, uh, our little things down here. What can we do with these? Oh, we can contain migration. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. I'm not too bothered about that. We can buy slaves there. I'm not too bothered about that. Donata has reached, re reached the age of marriage. I mean, there's all sorts of things going on. Uh, we're going to have to finish up in a minute because the video is already getting on towards an hour now. Even though we're only on day four. Let's just get rid of these for now. The last thing I might do is I might put a save in and then just go to war with someone to see how we do. Or oh, we do have a couple of notifications. Vitibor, it's time for the Lord to marry. Wait, Vitibor's not married? Am I not? Is my king not married? The enemy is plotting. I'll come back to that. Hang on. Right then. So, wait. She has reached an age to marry. 
how do I do that? Lords. Who has reached age to marry? Donata. Donata? Uh, seduce? Vitabor. Targa has very low interest in this world. Uh, this... Whoever. Uh, so let's spend time... With Vitabor. No, she can't even spend time with him. How do I get her happy? Can she go hunting with Vitabor? Let's go hunting with Vitabor. That's what you're going to do. And then Vitabor is going to go and do that straight away. And then, right, what was his other thing? Your relationship with one or several kings has fallen below minus 15. If you don't improve relations with them, then you're going to go to war. Vetchabor of Treewood is hostile towards me. I mean, you've, you've only just taken power, and then you're getting all up in my face. Oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to war with you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and slap you up beside the face, mate. Zivagast and Agonkra are going on a date today. Six migrants have arrived. When the loving family considers your settlement big enough, they send a bishop. Through the action menu, your lords can confess to the bishop to remove their sins as well as perform other actions. The bishop can provoke a religious uprising if he quarrels with any of your lords. If he dies of unnatural causes, you will be punished. Okay. Okay. What are we even mining here? We're producing iron. Good. Excellent. We can sell that to the caravan, I suppose. I don't think anyone wanted iron. It'd be nice if there's a way to see... Let's try on a few of those standard buttons to see if anyone wants iron. Because I'm not using iron at the moment. So if anyone wants to buy iron... We really need another book, don't we? That's what we need. Let's learn to make swords. A few people want swords. Swords and tools. Um, so I think I've just sent him off into the world, haven't I? Yeah. So I'm going to wait for him to come back. He's gone hunting. He's returned to the province. Excellent. Oh, wounds can be simple bruises and minor cuts, but deep wounds can be, can be dangerous. A character with gangrene is unsavable. Some actions, such as insulting in, uh, in infidelity to one's past and fights, are considered sinful. It is a prolonged and strong negative thought that can be absolved through confession with the bishop. Right, I just want to make an army. Oh, I'm gonna, first thing I'm going to do, just in case, is we're going to say, uh, end of vid. And then, there's nothing else for us to learn at the moment. Uh, oh, who's Tissetti? What's this? Who are they? Who are you? What are you? We're not going to worry about trading. We're just going to go straight for war. So we're going to make an army. The commander is going to be... Zi oh, wait. No, it's going to be Vitabor because he's even better. It's going to be Vitabor. Uh, all of the warriors. And we're going to send... We're going to send Gellerin. Who, who cares if he dies, right? He's not ours. Um, we don't have a lot of weapons or armor. So... There you go. Um... And we're going to go over here. We are going to... <laughs> How do I attack you? <laughs> How do I attack you? How do I attack you? Because right now he's just stood over here. Do I have to wait for everyone to arrive? The warriors are armed and ready. We've got some statistics flashing up for some reason. Okay. Good. Can I now go, go away? How do I? How do you? I want you to go and attack something. How do I make you attack something?
I want to go over here and attack this city. Do I have to be at war with them first? What if I wanted to attack you? Can I just contain migration? Oh, so I can attack that. But I cannot attack this. Why not? I just want to... Oh, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. I can demand vassalage. We're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. Okay, right. I'm assuming when it's day, our um, messenger will go up. I'm not even going to send someone over there. I think that's, you know, we're going to just really rub salt in the wound that we don't want to even get involved in this. Um, did we miss the trader? I think we did. I don't know who the... Oh, is this the bishop? Is that who this is? It must be, right? Yeah. So we didn't even do the trader. We missed it completely. If your neighbor has become your enemy but is too strong for a military solution, there are other ways. Raid their villages... Shadow operations, neutralize their commander, bribe their heir, sit out the dangerous time and gather strength by becoming someone's vassal. Okay. Yeah, lots of stuff about a bishop. Not too worried about that. Are we now at war? Yeah, we are, we are now... We, they have become our enemy. Awesome. Pondering your threat of looting. I just want to go over there and just attack them. I just want to attack them. He's just pondering the threat at the moment. I just want to do it. We have lost favour of the matriarch. Not overly surprising, since we've just randomly declared war on someone. The church is discontented. That's fine, I just want to try to go to war. That's just all I want to do. The last little thing I want to do is just go to war. We've just got a little army just stood over there doing nothing at the moment. The morale's going down drastically. I might even just disband them for the minute because I think their morale's going down because they haven't got any food or anything going on. Uh, you are not the first to attempt to plunder my city and not the last, but since you have chosen the, pa chosen the path of humiliation and defeat, I've got no choice but to await your arrival. <gasps> yes! You can attack his city. Oh, I've just disbanded my army! <laughs> There is also an unholy horde somewhere. I'm not sure where. That's fine. Uh, army. Right, let's make a new army. With Vitabor. All of the warriors. Keep going. Why can't you go in? It's fine. And Galeran. And you've already got all that. That'll do. And then... Attack. Send army. 43% chance of success. Yeah, it's, I've, There are worse odds, right? The warriors are armed and ready and off. There's one, this little red-headed dude at the back. That guy just died. We didn't even get anywhere and that guy just died. I think Gellerin just died. Wait, what? Well, our 43% chance, I feel, just got worse. Yes, it did get significantly worse. Go! Let's see what happens. Yeah, our army. I think it's because we just had them standing around doing nothing for a while. Got it. Attack. Click on the banner. No, that still didn't work. You. Attack. Oh, they got lots of archers and all sorts. Right, we lost one person, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. Coward and murderer. Victory does not warm my heart as much as the sight of your fallen warriors' lifeless bodies. I have never witnessed a more cowardly army. Your military tactics will surely inspire our jesters. I am absolutely certain of it. Signed by me and no one else, King Vegemore. Yeah. I mean, that's what we expected. It wasn't... Exp I mean, I thought we'd have more of a chance in, like, you know, the 8% and whatever it uh, ended up being, but still. All right. 
That's Norland then. The warrior's morale is low because they're all dead. So, you know, what you're going to do about it. So this is just like I say, like it's a preview build. This is not the full, well, it says it's the full game, but it's limited to 25 days. And you can see, I mean, we spent a fair bit of time going through tutorial stuff, but it's take, we're on day five and it's been an hour and 15 of recording. So, you know, that's still a good chunk of gameplay. Obviously you can't play it at the moment because uh, it's not a publicly available demo, but if you enjoyed what you saw there, there'll be a link in the description. Go and wish list it on Steam. Keep an eye out for it when it launches in May. Thank you again to the publishers for providing the key so I can take a little look at the game. That's hugely appreciated. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget our stream on Wednesdays at 7.30pm UK time. Be wonderful to see you there. Otherwise, maybe we'll see you in Norland again someday or in some other magical adventure. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.